Together for our special guest tonight, he's a rising star in a very exciting team. They are Essendon, he's David Zaharakis, everybody. Mate, uh, nicely done last night, you guys are great. And you've hit a rich vein of form, are you, are you doing anything different or is it just all coming together at the right time? Yeah, it's not really doing anything different, it's um, finally it's all come together and our game plan is, um, yeah, it's showing its real, real character out there and yeah, it's finally... Yeah, getting wins oh, on the board. Can I say, as an Essendon hater, you guys are looking annoyingly good. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you missed the scores from last night's game, and I'm sure you haven't, it was only a nine-point margin at the end, but really, Sammy, the Bombers owned this game for a long time. They had the Western Bulldogs right where they wanted them for most of the second half. Yeah, look, the, the final score really doesn't tell the full story. Essendon dominated this game, and there are some significant problems for the Western Bulldogs to ponder. The man we're looking at here is Scott Gumbleton. Three goals last night. And the club, David, has had to be so patient with him. He's had injury woes mm. and we gather bouts of homesickness. He's now living with your captain, Joe yep. Watson, and apparently is feeling all well in the world. Tell us about Scott's journey, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I mean, anyone who's had two years out of the game is going to sort of have a long time to try and get back into some good form. And um, I think it's shown now with three goals last night that, yeah, ten games into the season he's played all ten and um, he's finally showing the faith that the club had in him. He's repaying them, so it's good to see. And um, He's a good kid, and yeah, living with Joe watching, I think, helps <laughs> do, him do a lot. Do you think Joe keeps him in line, yeah. though, or does Joe put him on the wrong track? Is oh, it, <laughs> I'm really worried about Joe. I know he's a great captain. His form's unbelievable, but I'm, I'm worried about his track record with the ladies, to be honest. That's yeah, yeah, I, I mean, Job's, I think he's got his eye on the, the older ladies. We actually showed this vision. I don't know if you saw this, but this is Joe with an, an older... I mean, fair enough, she's attractive, but Joe, do you really have to let your lies do this much talk? Oh. Come on, Joe. Your eyes are upstairs, mate. Don't go downstairs. He's organising his, organising his brown low date there, isn't he? <laughs> oh, his eyes do go wandering there a bit. So. Leadership in a young team, and it is a young team, is pretty critical. Um, how's Joe Watson come out of himself in terms of emerging as a leader of a young footy team? Yeah, he's, he's, he's fantastic. I mean, he's respected really well at the club and... Um, whenever he has his say, everyone does listen to him, and if that's in meetings or pre-game, um, I know even on the field, um, we've like you, you don't. It's not called a spray, but you do cop it from him if you do something wrong. But it's all in respect, and um, he's he's that sort of captain. If he does something wrong, then he expects to do it. Yeah, um, yeah. You say something to him as well, so um, it's really good. I mean, he's developing in his role um, as well as the leadership group. So yeah, yeah, it's good. Your coach is fairly outspoken as well, isn't he? I mean, I, do you think he'll be fined for certain comments he made at the post conference, <laughs> oh, post press conference, post game? Game the other night. This is incredibly controversial. Let's have a look at comments from Matthew Knights. We're proud that, yes, we are, you know, number one, number one ranked in tackling. <laughs> I mean, enjoy your win, but don't go mad. <laughs> I didn't even know they kept stats for that. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk to us about the significance of that Anzac Day loss? It was heavy, 65 yep. points. You've now won four of your last five. I'm pointing back to that day and how significant that was. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we had a big build-up to that game and um, to put the performance that we did was pretty disappointing. And um, after that game, we sort of had a, had a wake-up call the next week with a lot of meetings sort of saying, well, where does this group want to go this season? Because we were sitting one mm. one win from five games. So... I thought you were gone. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, a, really? lot of, a lot of people did. It was a good day. <laughs> 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 we got you guys in round three, so that's all right. I know, you always been calm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you, you get on well with your coach? Yeah, yeah I get on fine. You guys have a good relationship? Yeah. yeah. He loves you? Oh, yeah? Good yeah, time, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Because he, uh, he certainly likes to get involved at training, doesn't he? He gets to lagro. Yeah, he does like to. Doesn't he? Yeah, well, let's have a look. Here he is. Yeah, take that and take that. Yeah, click off over there. But me buddy Zaharakis. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's got to be that, it's that winning smile, isn't it? Yeah, you've yeah, got a winning it. smile. <laughs> it is a winning smile. Hey, David Hill, uh, a bit of press this week about the Hill-Rider combination. Hill's come back from that knee, Rico's significant. For the midfielders, having a big body and a big presence like him around, how significant is it? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's really big. Um, yeah, him and Paddy swapping in the ruck. Paddy's more 
the athletic type where Dave's more the, the big body where he can crash packs and I think it's shown this year but he does really split packs open and now he's gone down forward and kicked, kicked a few goals mm. this year which has been pretty good but yeah to come back from the injury and to play the way he is yeah it's really good for the side. You're playing well too and last night you backed back into a pack and I think it was Lee Matthews said on the coverage that it was a really brave act have you, seen, have you heard that? Or? <laughs> no, it was really, it was a really nice thing for him to say but um, you're, you're really putting the Zaharakis name on the map aren't you? Yeah, oh. I believe you are right? and at least now people know how to pronounce it I'm sure people had problems over the years have they? Yeah there's been yeah, a fair yeah. few yeah. Yeah. So, well, There's a big Irishman who plays at Carlton and people have still got problems with his name uh, Carlton playing the Eagles uh, tomorrow, yeah? Dean Cox, let's see how he goes trying to trying to have a go at Satanta's name. A lot of quick, um, smaller, whippy players at um, Sonata's are feet, so... It's not a biscuit, mate! <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. Take a break. It's from the Bombers you can take. Get a stick around on the other side of the break. We'll give away two of the week. From the Bombers, our special guest, Mickey Malloy's beside himself tonight. I've, uh, well, yeah, I'm still struggling with the idea that Richmond have won, quite <laughs> frankly. I'm having an out-of-body experience. It's great. Uh, I think it's all because they train so hard, like you guys do down on the track. And you're getting into the spirit of the World Cup, and you've been kicking a soccer ball around. I particularly like the hit someone as hard as you can in the face drill. Here we are. Luke. Oh, bang! <laughs> You know, that wasn't an accident, was it? You picked that. Who was that? Kyle Reynolds. Kyle Reynolds, uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's annoying at the best of times. <laughs> he, he had that one coming, yeah, did he? <laughs> That's when we're on, and make sure you got the footy record uh, next week. Right there, Dom Cassisi on the cover. Mm. David, you've been a lifelong Essendon fan. It must be such a thrill to now be an Essendon player. Yeah, exactly. Can we have a look, actually, yeah. this year with Matthew Lloyd. How old were you there? Uh, I reckon probably about five, maybe. Wow. Oh, that's great. Very it's great. It's great meeting your heroes. Andy, remember when you met your hero? Oh, Keithy Warburton. Back in the day, yeah. I think it was oh, a lovely moment. you were a younger Andy. No, it's a very, 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 very generous with his time, Keith. Yeah, yeah he's a fantastic player. Uh, David, it's been terrific to have you on the show. Thanks for being part of the nonsense. David Zaharakis, our very, very special guest. We'll be back next week. Wayne, are you on the jumper?